It was just over five years ago I first introduced viewers to a brand new fertiliser that looked at caring for plants in a whole new way. I'd seen it being used in a wholesale nursery in Darwin and the results were simply incredible. Troforte AM is unique because of its mineral content over 60 micro and macro nutrients, but more importantly, it has something that's completely unique, 24 beneficial native soil microbes that do amazing things for the health of the soil. You see, this fertiliser was all about caring for the soil and as a result, caring for the plants. Its origins with helping plant growers and vegetable growers has seen the Troforte technology become an important aid to farmers looking to improve harvests without denuding the land of its fertility. And this farm at Westdale Rural is a great example of what's being achieved. Paul Storer knows something about the Troforte farming system. Paul is the Director of Research and Development and a senior soil microbiologist, plant physiologist agricultural consultant, rehabilitation specialist and educator with more than 30 years experience doing research, publications and field experience. So Paul, I know Trefort AM, the garden fertiliser that I use at home, I love it, it's great results, but Trefort A farming systems, it seems a lot more complex. Uh, well, it's not really. It's based on the same principles of the, the approach that we use in garden fertiliser, except we've just expanded it out into using it in broadacre farming. And the whole idea about it is, is that we use uh, the, the Troforte technologies, the, the biomineral fertiliser. We're remineralising the soils because right. most of our agricultural soils are fairly depleted. Yeah. We then use microbiology which um, helps in breaking those natural minerals down mm -hmm. and passing them onto the plant. And more importantly, they grow organic carbon in the soil. Now, that organic carbon is like a water sponge, and so it's very important to increase the carbon in the soil. And then the third thing is we look at the uh, biocompatible chemicals that we use so that while we grow this beautiful biological system, we don't, don't then go and destroy it by putting heavy chemicals on. We'll do soil tests, we'll look at the crop that you're growing, the crop that you've grown, mm -hmm. the history of the paddock, and then we'll develop a program. And the beauty of this biological system is it's very simple to use. All you have to do is just apply it. The, the ultimate to it is, is that we're trying to improve soil health, soil quality, and uh, ultimately soil fertility. So Paul, this multidisciplinary approach to caring for the soil it's all about really improving the soil life, but also getting carbon back into the soil. Why is that important? Basically, soil carbon is like the sponge of the soil. So when rain falls, it gets taken up by the carbon yep. and it's held in the soil. The problem we have now is that we've been burning our soil carbon out by our management practices. Right. So we're trying to grow it through the microbial system. We grow a bigger water sponge that holds on to more moisture. So if we get less rainfall during the winter in dry land, we've got moisture stored under the ground. Farmer Andrew Schilling farms both wheat and canola and has adopted the Troforte farming system in his property. Andrew, tell us about the crop that we've got down here. Um, Trevor, it's a uh, stingray canola. Right. Um, it's on its second year of Troforte farming system. It's a triazine tolerant canola. This means that it's it's not the GM modified? That's correct. Yeah, yep. okay. Yep. So what are your objectives when it comes to, to this change in the way you're farming? Well, we're trying to put life back into the soil. We're finding that with conventional farming, we're coming across soil compaction um, and soils that set hard, uh, more diseases in the crop. It's detrimental to the whole system. If you can get less diseases, you don't have to spray as much. It's important to remember that plants are just like us. They need a healthy diet to perform at their very best. If they get a junk food diet, which for a plant is a diet that's high in nitrogen but doesn't have any micronutrients that are so important to plant health, they will need to be sprayed, they will need extra care, and you won't get the goodies that you need in your diet. Now, that's vitally important. You see, we are what we eat, and if we're eating rich, nutritious food, rich in macro and micronutrients, well, we don't need to take the supplements to keep us healthy.
Dr Anna Hopkins from Edith Cowan University is an expert in forestry, plant protection and a microbiologist and has been working in a partnership between ECU and Troforte Innovations to develop the technologies to be even more successful for agriculture. Anna, I've known with gardens for a long period of time that um, they seem to be drying out more and we have developed products to try and get the wettability back into the soil. They seem to repel the water. Is that an issue in a broad acre sense? Yes, it is. It's, it's a problem for a lot of farmers in Western Australia particularly. The climate is drying more and so we're seeing a lot more issues with hydrophobicity or soil that doesn't wet properly. Is that what Alex uh, research projects all about, identifying those specific microbes that could be beneficial in that space? Yeah, so what Alec is doing is that he's trying to understand uh, which microbes are in the non-hydrophobic soils as opposed to the hydrophobic soils, so those microbes might be involved in breaking down some of the waxes and things that make the soil hydrophobic. So then if we can take some of those microbes and add them to the Traforte fertilisers, we'll be able to decrease the hydrophobicity of the agricultural soils we're working on. It's a really amazing system because it means that um, you'll be putting less chemicals, less uh, quantities of fertiliser onto your, your plants, but they'll still be growing just as well. It's important to remember that many of the innovations that we have with home garden products have their genesis in agriculture and forestry. And that one, well, we can actually get our hands on things like Traforte AM that helps feed our soils. Two, most importantly, those soils are then healthy and they feed our plants, which look great. And even better again, if you're eating those plants, that means that you're healthier as well.